Hi, my name is Jolie, and today we're going to be reading again, again and again, September 3rd, from A Little Time for Myself, because that's where we started, January 1st, and we're going to continue, so until the end of the year, um, this is about how far it goes through, and it's an el book, it's based on recovery, and, um, you know, it's a daily reflection. So um, let's go. We got page 246 if you're following along. And then um, we will, uh, if you're still here, say the serenity prayer at the end. Okay. So I'm, uh, if you're new here, hello. I'm an artist and um, this is my studio and I read every day so that I can help myself. And um, I also paint and draw so that I can get out of my head and just bring it out to see whatever happens. So that's what I'm doing with the reading because it helps. It's helped me uh, focus and um, have tools to uh, have, I don't know, like from, for me, and I found that many people go into a recovery based system when they become miserable and discontent. It's like when you can realize like, that's, that seems to be what's going on in your mind and heart and you can't get out of it. And you're like, Oh no, Oh shit. I don't want to be miserable and I don't want to be discontent, but there I am. So um, it led me to something I didn't want to do, which was go into Al-Anon, but I found that Al-Anon kept it simple and it was all inclusive. It takes every walk of life. It doesn't discriminate. And um, it's a place where you learn how to be an autonomous human, uh, living the life the best way you can and loving, learning how to truly love yourself so that you can truly give that to others and then really see that. And then for me, it, it like took away that misery. Does that make sense? Because, um, I am not faking it anymore. I'm actually really here. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm able to be really present instead of having the concept of being present or wanting someone in my life uh, that doesn't understand under, to understand and give me what I need. And I realized that isn't going to happen. And when I realized that wasn't going to happen, I kept trying again. <laughs> and then over and over and over until the pain was unbearable. Unbearable. So that, friends, is what I define for myself as the um the blessing of the curse. Uh, the um, the point of no return, the um, gift of desperation, as they call it. You know, another thing about Al-Anon and AA, and I am super sober as well, which I'm really grateful that I am. And um, because I'm able to take... Uh, more control over my life and um, my relationships with my family have improved because they've improved with myself. And they're not perfect by any means, but I, I at least know what a boundary looks like. Yeah, a healthy boundary, at least for today. It's, um, it's healthier than it's ever felt 
Um, anyhow, well, without further ado, let me go ahead and read. Let's see what we have. It's September 3rd, and this is the time, like, in the Northern Hemisphere where, you know, the leaves are, even though it's still green, there's evidence of some leaves that are falling now. So that's, it's like knocking at the door without it being too obvious. That change is, is at the doorstep. Um, all right, here we go. Let's see what we have. Page 247. Before Al-Anon, I thought God's will was hidden that I had to act a certain way to make the right decision to find it. Where is that God's will at? Now I know God's will isn't buried treasure. It's a state of being wherein I experience love, peace, and joy. God's will isn't dependent upon my choices or the outcome of my decisions. Knowledge of God's will comes from developing conscious contact with my higher power through meditations, through prayer. First, I pray and meditate, which is talking to my higher power. Then I stop talking and I listen, which is meditation, remaining quiet. For me, God's will is simple, that I am happy, that I am healthy, and that I am whole. That's what God's will is for me. Being whole means being comfortable in my own skin. I do this by practicing acceptance and by balancing my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Today's reminder, practicing Meditation and prayer helps me to build a spiritual connection with the universe, with the power greater than myself. When I find a quiet place within, intentionally, I am better able to see what is right for me. When I discipline myself to observe some type of prayer, some type of meditation, my day goes more smoothly and feels richer and more meaning. And that's a quote from one of the books I've read here. Um, another daily reflection, hope for today. So that's um, all the books that I've read are in the description below. And then I will also um, put here a link so that you can like click on it and go to all the other books that I have. There's a series of all the other books here that I finally put together. So the question today is in what ways do Meditation and prayer help me feel more balanced. How do they make you feel more balanced? If you can give an example of when and how you meditate, that would be great. Please comment below and um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please join. Please join. So then, um, yeah, I can make more and more things. I'd like to paint in uh, like a live session. If that's something somebody would like, let me know. All right, also, uh, let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer and I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. God, grant us serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference. So God's will, not mine, be, on, be done. And that's it. I love you. See you tomorrow, bye, bye.